Hey, what's up you guys? If you would like to improve the overall towing experience on your vehicle, installing an air spring kit will help eliminate the sway, squat, and bounce while towing a trailer. So let's go ahead and break down that easy install on a Chevy Colorado. You'll need the tools seen here to complete your installation. All right guys, we have our kit laid out. We will be using the Ride Control Air Spring Kit by Airlift for our installation. So to start, we're gonna go over the pre-assembly. So our first step on the top of our air spring, we're gonna go ahead and tighten in our air fitting. So we're gonna screw it in by hand and then it starts to get tight. So we'll use a half inch wrench and we're gonna tighten it till about two threads are covered. For our next step, we're going to install our spring bracket. Now, they're both labeled with either an L for the left side or an R for the right side. So our left side will be for the driver side. So we'll line that up on the bottom. And then using our provided screw, we'll go ahead and tighten that down. And we're gonna leave that a little loose. Right now you're gonna wanna make sure that your fitting is pointed away from the tab on our spring bracket. And now we're gonna go ahead and take our second bracket that is attached to the frame of the vehicle and we're gonna slide it over this fitting. Now we're going to take our nylon jam nut and we're gonna slide it over our fitting and then tighten it down. Now once you have it in by hand, these tabs inside the bracket will allow you to twist and tighten it more. And since we left the bottom loose, we're able to put it back into the right place. And now you'll wanna make sure that your two brackets are parallel with each other. And then we'll go back underneath and we'll tighten that down. Now that we've assembled our driver's side air spring, we're gonna repeat the same on the passenger side, and then let's go ahead and install it on our vehicle. So our instructions call for removing the rear tires, but we've determined that by just jacking up the rear end of the vehicle, it raises our frame above the tire, which allows us to have enough room to work. So to install our air spring on our driver's side, our bottom bracket is gonna rest right above on the leaf spring. It fits right around. And then our lip on the edge of the bracket is going to rest on the stock U-bolt that is already existing on the vehicle. So our top bracket will line up on the frame and the bottom bracket lines up on the leaf spring and on that U-bolt. All right, now we have our bracket right here that we'll use to show you how we will attach it to our leaf spring. We have our U-bolt that will go over the leaf spring and over our bracket in these little notches right here. And then we have this plate that will go underneath. And then to secure it on the bottom, it includes a flat washer and a nut. And we'll go ahead and install that on the vehicle. So we'll slide it over the bracket and into those slots and then we'll put our bracket on and then we'll put our lock washer and we'll screw on that nut. Now we're going to tighten and torque the nuts on our U-bolt using a 9 16th socket and we're gonna follow the manufacturer's specifications. All right, now we're ready to mark and drill our holes. Now, we're gonna lower it a little bit more 
because we need our set right back here on the bracket to be resting on the bottom of the frame. All right, now with it lowered and in place, we're gonna mark our center hole and this bottom hole towards the rear. We're gonna use a hole punch So we went ahead and raised the vehicle up to give us some extra room to drill. So now we'll go ahead and take our air spring and we'll move it out of the way. And using a 5 16 drill bit, we will drill our holes. Now we'll go ahead and bring our bracket into place and line up those holes. And then we'll take our provided self-tapping screws and start them by hand. Now that we have those in place, we'll go ahead and tighten it down using a 9 16th socket. All right, we got those bolts all snugged up and we're gonna go ahead and torque them according to the manufacturer specification. All right, now that we have it all installed on the driver's side, let's go ahead and repeat on the passenger side. All right, now with our air spring helpers in place on both the driver and the passenger side, we're ready to bring our hose into position and route it towards the end of our vehicle. So now we're going to take our hose and we're gonna make it even lengths on both sides by folding it in half. And then using a cutting device, we'll be using tin snips. We'll cut it right down the middle. So now in our fitting, we're gonna take our cut end of our air hose on the passenger side, and we're just gonna push it in. And once you push it in far enough, it will clamp on itself, and you can tug on it and it won't come out. All right, now that we have it plugged in, we're ready to route it towards the end of the vehicle. We're gonna mount it at our license plate, but as you can see, we have the exhaust right here on the passenger side. Okay, so we're gonna bring it over the leaf spring here. So we're gonna go over this cross member right here to avoid it being melted by the exhaust. So following the frame, we're gonna go ahead and loop it through this wiring harness right here. And we'll go ahead and secure our air hose with some zip ties. Okay, now towards our license plate, we're going to bring our hose ends through the attachment holes. Now in the attachment holes, it has these plastic screws. To remove these from its spot, you'll need to get just a little pry bar, bring it in, Turn it, and then from behind, you can push it out. Okay, now we're going to prep this to bring it through those holes. First, we're gonna take our star washer, put that on. Next, we're gonna take our rubber washer, and slide that on. And last, we're gonna take our hex nut and screw it on. Now we'll bring it from behind and put it through the hole. And now this is when we can put our license plate back on. So then we'll put our license plate on over. And then we'll install our flat washer and our second hex nut. And then we'll go ahead and put our cover on. And then we'll repeat on the driver's side. All right, now with everything in place, we're gonna protect our air springs and, a, and the hoses by installing the included heat shield. To set up the heat shield, we're gonna take these two center tabs and we're gonna push them straight up. And then we're gonna fold it again.
So to install the heat shield, our kit comes with some clamps. They have two different sizes. In our case, our muffler is bigger and we have to combine them. So you just put them together so they can fit around. And we'll go ahead and show you how that's done. So we're gonna take it with the tabs onto the muffler and you're gonna to wanna to face it towards your air spring. And then we will take our clamp and it's gonna go over that tab. So once you get around the muffler, you're gonna tighten it up. And then we're gonna take a flathead screwdriver. We're gonna bend the rest of that tab over our clamp. And we'll repeat on the other side of the heat shield. All right, now with our install complete, we're ready to put air in the bags. All right guys, now that wraps up our install. Thank you for watching our video. If you have any questions or need more information on this product, or if you'd like to schedule an installation with a U-Haul Hitch Professional, you can visit your closest U-Haul Hitch Center or visit us online at uhaulhitches.com.